Twice a month, unicyclists gather in Upper Manhattan to practice their skills. We're here at the New York Unicycle Club up here at Grant's Tomb. I bring my unicycle all over the world to try and spread unicycle awareness because I think it's something that more people should do. It's great for the soul. If you have trouble meeting people, you know, that's a nice icebreaker. It's fun. It's always new people and some are old and they always have new tricks up their sleeves. For many, unicycles are a fun hobby and a way to improve balance. But for a small group of hardy riders, they are regular transportation. A unicycle is something special and unusual, and especially something that looks like this. It's a, a, called a coker or a touring unicycle. For John Stone, who has been riding for 30 years, life moves at just the right speed from his 36-inch wheeled unicycle. Walking for me is just a little bit too slow. Bi bicycling is too fast. I, I would be a little scared. So I think it's a perfect speed to see um, you know, churches or architecture, people. Being seen is the point for Anthony Wright, who rides across the Bronx every day. I get a lot of attention riding to work because not too many people can ride a unicycle. But the city can be a tough place for just one wheel. Competing with taxis and dogs and rollerbladers and scooters and pedestrians. <laughs> so it takes some skill. And then there are the hecklers. One of the things that kind of uh, rubs us the wrong way is when people whistle or sing or hum the uh, circus tune. <laughs> I've been flashed twice. Uh, women have lifted up their shirts. And I think they were trying to get me to fall. I didn't fall. I was startled. <laughs> While unicycle commuting might not be for everyone, these riders say that anyone can learn. And I think anybody can do it if they want it badly enough. You just hold on to a chair or on the side of your car and just wiggle back and forth for 10 hours, and then you can ride. 